Okay, this is Artifacts of Mars, and this is the mental disorder of liberalism in uh, full sling, swing. I told you that these uh, fascists or cultural Marxists or whatever they are, they're not going to be satisfied until they've obliterated white European-based culture. Now this is a local issue, Ontario Beach, that is north of me, within driving range. The uh, leftist name is Andrea Wraithka. Local woman has written a blog labeling the painted panel degrading and racist. Andrea Wraithka says it has no place in public park and should be removed. Now, this carousel has been there for over 100 years, more than a century. And nobody until not, until this uh, left-wing extremist has complained about it. At least I've never heard of any complaints. Rathko said she was driven to raise the issue by the ongoing nationwide discussion of racially charged symbols and imagery conspicuously confederate battle flag that had flown over the south carolina state capitol was recently taken down after many said it stood for racial oppression i've been meaning to write about it for months but now it seems a good time to bring it up with these types of images being scrutinized more said Raithka, who was a member of the democrat and chronicle board of contributors she's a hardcore marxist uh, cultural Marxist is what she is. Since the blog was published Friday in the newspaper's website, painting has become subject to debate among visitors to the Charlotte Carousel and anti-racism activists are discussing the possibility of collection, collective action to get rid of the image. You mean fascists are discussing the possibility of collective action to get rid of the image. The carousel itself, where a reporter found several people Monday and Tuesday who come to Charlotte after reading about the image, the issue cut both ways, it is racist. Today, now in this day and age, said Noreen Sheehan, a 67-year-old city resident who's been coming to the carousel since she was a child, it should be taken down. Ken Lat Ranga of Radically, on the other hand, said I thought the painting should be left alone. I don't think it was meant to be offensive. Hopefully, they don't try to change anything. What's done is done. We can't change it. Why can't we move forward? The carousel built by the well known Densel Carousel Company in the 1905 is owned by the city of Rochester, but managed and operated by Monroe County under a long-term parks agreement. The amusement ride, recently dubbed the Duchess, is a few of its kind in the country. Asked about the image, city officials said it would be up to the county to determine whether any action was merited. The county will be expected to consult with the city before making any changes. The ride said municipal term attorney Tom Worth works on preservation issues. Carousel was designated an official landmark by the city of Rochester in 1980. Any changes to it might require approval by the city preservation board. County spokesman Justin Feasel said Monroe County officials were interested to see what feedback people have about the image, the two, the two caricatures. He said people had mentioned the image to park officials in the past, but none of the comments amounted to complaint. Parks will likely discuss the images with leaders of the Landmark Society of Western New York at a regularly scheduled meeting next week. Crap, I wish I could be there. So let's take a look at her, uh, her uh, cultural Marxist blog. She's either fascist or cultural Marxist. 
I don't care at this point. It's all the same to me. What you call it. Symbols of racism are taken down in the South. Here lion Rochester must follow suit. She's on there, the board of this newspaper, and she is a far-left radical wacko. As a new dawn seems to be rising in America, which means fascism, the Confederate battle flag was lowered at the State House in South Carolina this morning, a move that was 54 years overdue and 150 years in the making. As Confederate stone monuments and street names of Southern generals are now being vandalized in the South, which she approves of, us Northerners have no business pointing fingers and throwing stones of innocence. We had. We, too, have let images of deliberately intended racism by a bit too long in the name of historical significance. Take, for instance, located in Charlotte, we have the Duchess Denzel Menagerie Carousel. It was built in 1905 and situated at the east end of Ontario Beach Park. It has the distinction of being one of only 14 operating antique menagerie carousels in the United States. And it's also one of the few that remain in its original location in 1980, far past the time of civil rights, but apparently too soon in the time of change for Rochester, the carousel is grand landmark status. Unfortunately, the racist depictions on the amusement overshadows the beauty of having a neat old carousel remembered as it always was at our park. On top of one one of the panels of the carousel, there's a picture depicting two black children and a rooster. How is that racist? These type of characters are often referred to as pickaninnies and racist depiction meant to dehumanize and stereotype black children. we got to pause one second. Yeah, sorry about that. That's going to double up, but that's okay. This is a double wacko. I should have turned off my uh, speaker. Well, this is a double wacko, so uh, I don't, re don't really care at this point. I mean, good God, this has been sitting there for ages. And nobody really gives a flying fuck. <clears throat> we got serious problem you know when you have fascists like this fascist cultural Marxists whatever attacking our culture and trying to destroy it we got a serious problem it's like I said Nazis did the same thing. There's no difference. Cultural Marxists, Nazis, fascists. Uh, the key word is socialism. Uh, this is just plain evil. Alright? I'm... Pretty much on my way... I won't be able to make a trip there until the weekend. Hopefully there'll be good weather. Uh, what I want to do is go up there, take a look at this thing, document things. This uh, cultural Marxist, fascist, communist, whatever, uh, and I are on a collision course. Like I said, sh this is a far left-wing radical wacko. She works... She's on DNC's board. She and I are on a collision course because I believe in freedom. I believe in uh, self-determination. I believe in the First Amendment. This person hates the First Amendment. And she's going to get near from, full from me. You can bet on that. 
Now, if I go up there, first of all, I'm going to take my fishing pole because I'm, do some, I'm not going to go up there just for this. I'll take my fishing pole and go fishing uh, while I look at this thing. And... <clears throat> May actually go up there earlier than the weekend if they're forecasting lousy weather for next weekend. Then I'm not gonna lie. do anything. And I work up. I work close to that area anyway, so I could go, conceivably go up there one of these mornings and document this. Uh, document this fascism that she wants to do. We'll have to wait and see. That's uh, optional at this point. Like I said, I work near it, so... The point here is, they're doing what I said. They're attacking our culture. They're attacking white European culture, and this person wants to destroy it. These are... I don't care whether you call them Nazis, Communists, they're very close to one another politically. It's kind of like the Republicans and Democrats. There's very little difference between them. So, you can pretty much expect a uh, Tyranny Watch News special report on this. I'm pretty angry right now, and... I did see the blog earlier in the paper, and I dismissed it, I figured, well, maybe it won't go anywhere. I didn't realize that she worked for, uh, that hardcore left-wing rag. And this is, this rag is, uh, basically the, uh, Rochester area branch of New York Communist Party. So, you get the idea there, uh, political affiliation. And has anybody actually been harmed by this? The answer is no. A child with a chicken. What on earth is wrong with these people? But it's not about it's it's not about that, it's about destroying culture. That's what they're trying to do. They want to destroy white European based culture. You know people who came here were white Europeans, I'm sorry, that's what they are. I'm an American, but I'm of white European descent. I don't really know uh, exactly what Fancy myself to be the son of Attila the Hun, but I don't really know or care. That's pretty much just a joke with me. Alright, well, here you go. This is a nutcase. Uh, I will be on my way, hopefully, to Ontario Beach Park where I'm going to document this. This uh, creature and I are on a collision course. I'm virtually guaranteed to butt heads with these fascists. This won't be the last uh, entry on this. This is a mental disorder of liberalism. This is a big time wacko. This is big time fascism. We don't need it in this country. These people hate freedom. They hate representative government. This is disgusting. And boy, is she going to get an earful from me. You can bet on that. I am on a collision course here. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. I'm on the facts of Mars.